John Huntsman, the only candidate, Republican candidate in New Hampshire today. We'll be speaking at the town hall. We're going to see what he has to say about the self-employed. Uh, of course, there's nothing on his website. I've got a record. And it's a record that speaks to doing real work, getting an economy fired up again. I say, I want trust back in our tax code. It is about time. Now, what I really need to hear from you is what you're going to do for the 110,000 self-employed people in New Hampshire and the 23 million self-employed in this country. And I don't hear the word self-employed at all. I hear small business. But that's code to us for being ignored. Because we represent three-fourths of businesses in this country. And right now, when it comes to health care, you know, the reason you all took the House back is because the health care mandate drove the self-employed crazy. It was a bad and what I want to know is, would you at least start by supporting the Equity for Our Nation Self-Employed Act, which would enable us to take our health insurance premium as a business deduction, as any corporation? Because right now, if I pay a $10,000 health insurance premium, I have to pay a $1,500 self-employment tax on that. So that's my question to you. What will you do for the self-employed? Because 90% of farmers in this country are self-employed, and no one's talking. Thank you for being self-employed, and thank you for reminding us of sometimes what might be a misunderstanding or a slip-up as we talk about small business. You're absolutely correct. You're absolutely correct in what you're saying. All that we can do, and listen, the, the health care reform thing in my state pretty much started after a speech I gave at a rural university, I was at a burger shop after, and a dairy farmer came up, small, just a few employees, not self-employed, not one, but a few. We got talking about business, and he, he recognized me in line, and he said, can I chat with you for a minute? And I thought it was going to be about uh, international trade, I thought it was going to be about price supports, I thought it was going to be about, you know, subsidies coming out of Canada or Australia, whatever. He said, I want to talk to you about health care. I was totally blown away. This was years and years ago. And he said, I can't afford it anymore. And uh, I've only got a couple of employees I'm taking the ride with, and I can't afford any coverage for them. And I said, what are you going to do about it? And he said, nothing. I have no choice. And I thought, you know, welcome to small business. I sat in Keene the other day. I went to a place called Lindy's Diner. This is a very special place, ladies and gentlemen, Lindy's Diner, because every president in the United States has been to Lindy's Diner. <laughs> and I walked in and I said, you're the only candidate. This go around to a visit to Lindy's Diner. <laughs> I say I like our chances. <laughs> but I sat down at the counter uh, with, a, with a small business for Maybe, maybe a, a sole employer. He, he repairs and refurbishes motorcycles, I mentioned earlier. And he made an interesting comment today, you know, he couldn't get a loan out. But the part beyond that that I didn't mention, we talked about health care reform. And uh, he said, I can't afford any options for myself. Uh, I said, what are you doing about it? And he said, nothing. It reminded me exactly of the dairy farmer. And he went on to say, I haven't seen a doctor in 18 years. 18 years, and I thought, welcome to our world of very small business. That's the reality. So what can we all do together? I believe the two most important things for business is to fix the tax code, number one, because I believe it is so corrupted with loopholes and deductions. And some people have grown to really like those, and I say, we've got to enter a new world. We've got to enter a new world that allows people to say, I'll take a lower rate in exchange for phasing out those loopholes and deductions because that will clear the cobwebs out of the system and allow, and allow us to become more competitive. I think that's the most important thing we can do for businesses of all sizes. And then the second part is I think on health care reform, I think working with the insurance sector to get more in the way of affordable, accessible policies, like we try to do in our state, breaking down the barriers, allowing individuals and small businesses to be able to pool together to see greater discounts in the marketplace, which are very, very difficult today. Those are the kinds of things that I think are most important.
Would you consider cutting the self-employment tax in half and bringing it back to the employee, that the self-employed only play the employee's share? Because right now, if you're self-employed in this country and you make $35,000 in your family of four, the 15.3 self-employment tax is $5,000 before you pay anything. You want to know what's driving the black market economy? You choose between your family and a 15.3 flat tax on your income, and you can't even, if you can't afford health insurance, you can't even deduct it as a business expense, but the corporation can. This is a skewed system. It's not, it's more than just a fair tax code. This is a completely corrupt system. And you know, the vaunted 1986 Tax Reform Act, which I've read in the thing, that raised the self-employment tax from 10% to 15%. And you know why this is going on? Because, and I, I like what you say about lobbyists and the revolving door, because representatives don't care about people, they care about the organizations that will deliver them votes. And guess what? There are no organizations representing the self-employed. Just politicians can do it. As far as I know, the last self-employed president was Harry Truman. And he had that experience, and when he introduced the self-employed in the social security system, we self-employed in tax was one and a half percent. It's up 1,000 percent. Some politician has to say, well, there is no organization representing the self-employed. Maybe it should be me, because there's 23 million of us in this country. And you never hear that word in any debate. But we know who we are, because we see the self-employment tax every April, and it's a killer. Sir, you've done a very good job. Thank you so much. So effective, I'm going to go home and look at it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.